Nigel, this event today, you've got X demo machines available for sale here. What, why do you do this and what machines are for sale? Well, what we do is every year, about every year, we have a showroom clearance. And if you look here at the VMCs and the turning centres behind me, they're in the light grey, which is our older colour. So we'll sell all these machines from the show. If they don't sell at the show, we'll put them on our website and they'll be available until they're sold. And we'll replace them in the next few weeks uh, with, with brand new machines in the new livery, which is the dark grey. So the machines that we've got here, the models here, we've got a CT52, we've got a Y-axis lathe, and we've got a range of machining centres. Does this sort of kind of summarise well what you've got available? Well, it does, but also we've got a load of Prototrack milling machines and lathes, and um, they're also for sale. Um, some of them went before 10 o'clock this morning. Um, the, the, I don't actually know what's been sold and what hasn't, um, but um, we just do it every year because people don't want to be buying two-year-old X-Demo machines and uh, we do it in all of our showrooms so we usually have a, a, a reasonable supply of X-Demo. These, these, uh, these shows work for you, don't they? Yeah, they do. Um, everybody comes along to try and save that few, that few extra pounds. And, you, and like I say, there is quite a few models available so if people are looking at an X-Demo, this is a perfect opportunity. Yeah, but once they're gone, they're gone. Um, you know, we, we had two people in this morning uh, 10 minutes apart wanting the same machine but sadly it had gone to the first guy. If first did, come? Yeah, first come, first serve, but if they'd have come together perhaps we might have had to flip a coin. On, a, on another note, this, this event here primarily is about your new UMC 5 axis. Yeah. What's the, uh, what, what so far is the feedback from the market and the people that have seen the machine and the LRs, but let's start with the 5. Well, the, the, the UMC machine's been well accepted now We've got a lot of very good inquiries that we're going to be doing some test components on and we're very optimistic that sales are going to start to come in um, reasonably dramatically in the next few weeks and months. Why, why do you think people are interested in this machine? Oh, the, the UMC is a great machine. We look very carefully at spec and overall with the torque motor table with 90 RPM and all the pivot centre encoders and the linear scales, we've got an accurate great value machine there. And it's at a very competitive price as well. It is at a very competitive price. They started under 150,000 and it really is a top of the line machine. You know, it, 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 we probably, we've probably got a machine that's worth a lot, lot more than that and perhaps in another year or so it may well be. I'm going to ask you a question here you might not like, but if somebody was to buy this machine, you are new into, this is a new machine yeah. to the market, what reassurances will they have from XYZ that, that you know, that things are going to go smoothly? I absolutely understand that. There are 200 of them in Europe because they've been distributed under different names throughout Europe. So it's a well-proven machine. It's four years old now. Um, obviously in that time there's probably been modifications. But to reassure a customer, if I was buying this, what would worry me? Ah, well, the warranty, that might worry me. So we're going to give two years warranty on it and it, you can buy more. And the other thing that we're going to do on the first six machines is we're going to pay for um, collision insurance. So although it's got dynamic collision protection that shows the component if you're going to hit the table or whatever, um, everybody can have a, a mistake, especially on a new five axis and a machine that travels so fast. You can't legislate for the billet that you put on the table? No, you can't do that. Uh, they do want to hit that, but slowly. So, so, you, so what we're saying is that... It, so in, engineers that are investing in this technology, they, they can be reassured that XYZ, are, you know, they're not taking this their investment lightly and making sure that they're fully protected. And, um, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And we know about five axis. We've been selling it on our 1060 high speed, but just as an extra two axis table. So we understand five axis. Uh, our service engineers are familiar with this product. Um, service staff are learning about the product. And also they're going to go to the manufacturer and spend several weeks there seeing how it's all put together. And then the LR range, this is a new range, linear rail, uh, this is a lower cost machine that, that complements what you've currently got as well. Absolutely, we're not getting rid of the old machines if you like, or the current range, we're just introducing the LR range to add some incremental sales to our, um, to our business.
If you look to you sell 500 machines a year, 400 machines, 800, I don't know the exact number, but I'm sure you do. Would you expect to sell uh, that same number of machines uh, again, but just with, with these in the mix, or would you expect to increase your, your well, units? Well, we think that the LRs will, will increase our sales um, slightly, you know, perhaps another 40 machines a year. And we sell close to 1,000 machines a year. Um, the UMC, you know, I've said, as I said before, if, if we sell 12 in our first year, we'll be very happy and we're very confident we'll do that. We'll probably exceed that. Um, and that's a growth market. A thousand machines a year. Wow, that's some statistic. Okay, thank you, Nigel. Enjoy the rest of the day. Cheers. Will do.